Well, it's a beautiful Monday morning, and as you can see, the corn is really starting to dry down now. So even the irrigated portion, we're starting to see some of the leaves are starting to crisp up. Things are drying down, and the corn is looking really nice. So we're building up good starches in this. We're pretty much at silage timing here now, especially as these plants start to dry down. And I have my cameraman with me today. What do you think of the corn, Eric? Good. Yeah? You think it's good? So if I look extra tall for this week's video, it's because my cameraman's only three and a half feet tall. What do you think? Is this corn ready to silage, Eric? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, no. Well, here's the winter wheat field. Everything here is looking pretty good. This is seeded on potato stubble. Things are coming along real well here. If you look down at the ground down here, cameraman, look down, down. Okay, see down here? Yeah, so we're mostly getting up to that three leaf stage here now. Two, mostly two to three leaf stage. Establishment looks really good. Everything's looking real nice. Okay, so here we are at the dividing line in that cornfield again. So on this side we have 1027, this side there's 1017. And you can hear, see here, a lot of these ears are starting to hang down a little lower. So they're opening up, they're drying down, definitely getting ready for silage timing in here. Whereas in the 1027, a lot of these ears are still hanging up quite a bit higher. So they're hanging on a little bit more, a little bit less mature. But regardless, they are drying down pretty rapidly. So we're ready to come in here in silage. You can see by the overall look of the field, it is drying down. Well, here's how they open up a field. The silage chopper goes in the front, nozzle pivots to the back. They just spray right over the top into the waiting truck. It's not 100 percent you don't always get it all in there especially on the corners it gets pretty tough to aim that nozzle when it's straight behind you like that but these guys are doing a pretty good job oh here's a cover crop field we're having fun with so this was a silage crop earlier in the year and got reseeded into oats and radishes and just radishes so these are developing not too bad there's not a whole lot of radish on the bottom but they're doing all right some feeding by flea beetles and there is a few caterpillars in here that are doing a little bit of feeding as well, but nothing worthwhile spraying for at this time. Well, I'm back at that wheat field that I was in last week, Thursday, during all the wind, and customer was reporting that after the wind, there was definitely a reduction in yield. And I can definitely kind of see that as much as that wind was blowing stuff around it, no doubt it shelled out some of these heads. And there's quite a few heads kind of laying here on the ground all over the place so definitely we lost some there as far as kernels on the ground i'm not seeing eh, yeah no there's a fair bit down here in, right mixed in so definitely did shell some out i don't know what it would end up being he figures close to 10 bushels and that could very well be the case well, big crops can sometimes come with big problems. So this was a 130 bushel dryland barley field here. And uh, we're just trying to seed this into winter wheat here in the wind. And uh, yeah, you can see we're definitely having problems with straw. Even though this has been harrowed, it's still a lot of straw, but the moisture here is really good. We should definitely have no problem getting things germinated. As long as we can, I mean, getting it in the ground isn't a problem, but getting it to come up through all this straw will definitely be a problem. So we'll have to see how that works out. Well, it's a bit of a dark and dreary morning out here this morning, but uh, this fall rye field is looking pretty good. We can see nice, clearly defined rows now of the rye that is germinating. So this was just seeded last week. It is nicely up now. Stand density looks good. This field was sprayed with Corex, but you can see we do have a fair bit of canola that is germinating and coming up. Not too big of a concern. If it gets ahead of the rye, we might have to hit it with a, a bit of 2,4-D or something here yet this fall. <laughs> Well, here's some of the silage oats and they are looking really good this week. We're kind of coming into the soft dough stage here now, so I can still squeeze them. They're still soft, but they're not really milky anymore. And uh, things are looking pretty good. There is a fairly low level of septoria throughout here on some of these leaves that is causing a little bit of browning, but uh, overall looking way better than last year. This time last year, we had about a foot of snow on the ground. If you go back and look at last year's video from this time, so these oats did get uh, packed down pretty good by the snow. So this year we are well ahead, and these oats later on this week should be getting swathed and silaged. Well, here's one of my silage oat fields, and this one didn't get swathed before the snow, as you can see, and it uh, it drifted pretty full of snow. It's, uh, it's knee-deep in here, especially when you just screw up like I did and step in a pivot track. 
Oh, here's some more corns getting silage. This is the Pioneer Hybrid 58 AM near Lethbridge, and it is doing very well. Very nicely developed, really nice hard kernels in here, and some very, very nice sized ears. There is some bird damage here and there. There was a lot of blackbirds in this field, but if I can bust this thing with one hand, there we go. So you can see that kind of traditional red color in here. It's kind of a trademark of the Pioneer Hybrid, although some other varieties will have it. But uh, yeah, very, very hard caps, lots of starch build up in these, so that'll be excellent cow chow. Well, here I'm back at that forage field that we sprayed with Corex. This was about two weeks ago now, and you can see it looks a lot browner now than it did back then, if you go back and look at the last video. But it uh, looks like we've got a really good kill on pretty much everything except for the dandelions. So, really good kill on all the grasses. The alfalfa's nice and crispy. These dandelions are showing some burn. Maybe they're still going to die, but they're still looking conspicuously green at this time. So, we'll have to uh, see how these look in another week. Worst comes to worst, we can spray it again in the spring. Well, here's some more corn. This stuff is up by Barron's, and this is a short season Pioneer Hybrid. I believe it was 7527. And uh, yeah, very, very good starch formation in here. Lots and lots of kernels. Very nice size ears, and things are developing really well. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.